I have gotten questions on like if I use presets or like just how I edit my pictures. It makes the picture look really smooth. I actually have not posted this picture. I forgot about it. This fun little hack that I actually just learned Okay, we're starting. I think we're okay. I started this and then I decided to stop and put it into iMovie and see if the quality was okay. I think it looks okay. It just, it looks normal to me, but I thought that same thing when I was editing my morning routine and the quality was like weird and wonky and I don't know what happened still. Switched up some stuff, I hope everything looks okay but hello <laughs> welcome back to my channel i hope you like the setup i normally am facing the other way i'm just kind of switching it up living on the edge but today i'm going to show you guys how i edit my instagram photos and it's actually so simple like you don't even know how simple it is <laughs> I use one filter. I've been using the same filter since like October of 2020. And it is a filter, it's a Lightroom preset that I downloaded or I bought off of Etsy. And when you when you hear like I bought it, it sounds kind of crazy, but it was literally like 50 something. <laughs> And all I had to do, I bought it, I downloaded the preset, I imported it into Lightroom and set it as a preset and that's what I use. I don't think I can really show you that process right now just because there aren't any presets that I want to buy. But it's super easy, like if you ever want to buy a preset, you can go on Etsy. It's literally, it's really like the easiest thing. Or like there are influencers that sell presets. I have bought Ava Gutowski, My Life is Ava, you probably know her. Um, she has pretty cheap and affordable presets and I have a few of those as well. Anyway, I thought this would be a fun little idea because I have gotten questions on like if I use presets or like just how I edit my pictures and so I figured I could do a little video on it. I take all of my Instagram pictures, well like most of my in Instagram pictures on an iPhone. Sometimes I will do like a photo shoot where there's like an actual camera involved, but that's rare. And if a photographer takes pictures of me, I don't edit the pictures because it's their picture that they took and they edited. So there's that. There's a wasp on my window right now. Like, I think it's stuck between the screen and the window because it's been there for days and it's progressively getting slower. I think it's dying. <laughs> anyway, I just got distracted. Okay, so, like I said, I use Lightroom presets. So I use the app Lightroom. Oh, I should probably screen record. This is what it looks like when I open Lightroom. These are pictures that I have edited. These up here are the My Life is Ava presets. This is the preset that I use. So normally I will take some pictures. I actually have some, these are all like my favorites in my camera roll. I guess I will just choose one and show you guys how I would edit. So these down here, I actually took yesterday. I have not edited them yet because I knew I was gonna film this. So these were my favorites. I won't post all of them. So normally I will like choose my favorites and then choose my favorites from the favorites. <laughs> So I think I really like this one, this one, and this one. And then I export them and hit Lightroom, launch Lightroom now. And then they just pop up right into Lightroom. I go down to preset and all of the like essentials, these ones, and then free. I named them, but there are the My Life is Ava presets. She has different packs. I used to use Essentials 8 last summer, and I also used the Free 7. These aren't the actual names, they're just what like my brain called them. But anyway, these are not the filters that I have been using. I go down to Soft Etsy. This is the one that I've been using. Every picture is different, so I will go in to each picture and adjust different things. So for this one, it was really sunny. Also, I took these in like Micah's room because the sunlight was like coming into his room. <laughs> 
really nicely and I was like, I'm gonna take a picture. Anyway, I just kind of play around with exposure. Even though it was really sunny, I honestly feel like it could be brighter. And then I think the contrast can go up. I normally bring the whites up just cause I like the brighter look. I don't like how yellow the preset is. Sometimes it works, it just depends on the picture. For this one, I think maybe bring it down like the tiniest little bit, bring up the saturation, make it more vibrant. I sharpen it and then and what I really like to do is in the same like detail section, I go down to noise reduction. By the way, I don't know what like half of these words mean because I'm not like an editor, but I go to noise reduction, reduction, whatever that is. And I turn that up and I've noticed it makes the picture look kind of like it was taken on like a professional camera. It like smoothens out, is that a word, smoothens? It like smooths out. It makes the picture look really smooth. So like obviously if I did it a lot, it kind of looks a little bit fake. So I never go all the way, but I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can, and I normally go like in this range. I think I'll go there. And I kind of want it to be a little bit closer, just like a little. Justin Bieber's tweeting at me. Yeah, we're just like friends. That's on honestly it for that type of picture and I, I think I really like it. I really like how it looks. Since I have other pictures that look just like that, that were in the same spot. I can click the three dots in the upper right and I can copy the settings and I just copy everything, hit the check mark, go to the next picture and just paste those settings. And with this one, I did get a little bit closer to the camera. So I'm just going to go back in and not crop it and just leave it like that and that's that picture and then i'll just do the exact same thing on this one and now all three of these pictures are good to go i will just ah, select them all export to camera roll and it takes a little second and then now they're in my camera roll that is pretty much all i do overall some pictures especially if they're taken at night or in like extreme different lighting it will need a lot more so i also have these pictures that i took the other day well i did didn't take them but my acapella group like did this fancy thing and we got some cute pictures I've already posted them on Instagram you can go follow me if you so desire we'll start with this one I'm gonna go ahead and first put the preset on and already like that is it just looks like a lot so i'm gonna go in put the exposure up a little bit and then actually bring the contrast down i'm trying to remember what i did since these were already edited and then i actually want a lot more warmth and that changes it so much See, like with the other picture, I didn't like how yellow it was, but this one like needs it. So I'm actually gonna bring it up a ton, as well as the saturation and vibrance. And then I'm gonna sharpen it, probably a little more. I'm gonna go to effects and make it a little bit clearer, just because I feel like it was a little blurry. And then the noise reduction, that's, the noise reduction is my favorite one just because I feel like it makes the picture so much better. Okay, honestly, like I said, I've already edited <laughs> this picture and this second time around, it looks a lot better than the one that I posted. <laughs> and then I really am not a fan of like my legs in this picture. So I'm just gonna crop them out and keep a little bit so that it doesn't look weird. And that is the picture. Then I will probably, these pictures all have completely different lighting. So I just go in, I'll still use the same preset, but again, that is a lot. I hate the way my legs look in that. <laughs> so we're gonna crop her out. We're gonna make her brighter, bring down the contrast, um, bring up the whites. Bring up the temperature, it's a little much. Saturation, vibrance, clarity. It's like the same things that I do all the time. It just depends on the picture for like how much I drag the little bars. Noise reduction. And actually this one is very pink, which I do kind of like. It's just a little bit much. So I'm gonna go into the tint and bring it down a little bit. And then that's that picture. The other thing that I did with these pictures that I have never done before for, and I actually learned from my friend Bridget like literally the day that I posted them is to download Facetune which I've had before, but I never knew how to use it But she said that there's this new feature called neon and it was like perfect for these 
particular pictures because there was so much color. So I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna go right here into Facetune. We're gonna get the picture in here. And I think it is so cool. It's kind of hard to explain because I literally just learned it, but you can put different like neon colors on different sides of the picture. So on the left, you know, you can have like any sort of color you want. I'm gonna go with like a pinky color in the middle. And then I can go in on the right. I kind of like the yellowy orange color so that is the before and that's the after it just looks so much more colorful and i did like the same thing on the other pictures just like playing around with whatever i wanted to do and then i will do one more picture for you guys in lightroom here's a picture that we can use this was taken a while ago actually it was taken in january in a little like stairwell at a parking garage so we're gonna export that into lightroom we're gonna use the same preset i actually have not posted this picture i forgot about it we're gonna crop it because there's a lot of gray in it that we just do not need. Let me make it a little brighter. Mm, contrast can stay the same. Bring the whites up, temperature down just a smidge, just because I am wearing like a tan, like brown shirt, so I don't want it to be too yellow, but I can make it more saturated and more vibrant. I kind of like the temperature up actually. And then make it a tiny bit more clear, sharpen her, noise reduction, classic. And honestly, I feel like maybe a little bit closer. That's kind of cute. And there it is. Then I would just export to camera roll. So that is how I edit my pictures in terms of like, okay, sorry if you can hear people outside. They're like renovating the sidewalks. I don't, I don't know why. So I use the same preset on every picture. I will use it until I guess I get tired of it, which I don't know when that will be. Also, the Lightroom app is free. Some presets you can get for free. You just have to look, but if not, they can you can find presets for super super cheap in terms of like my actual instagram feed i do have an app called the preview app it's that one right there it kind of helps me plan my feed a little bit i don't have like a schedule i don't put like a ton of thought into planning my feed but i do like it to look good which is part of why i do use the same filter so this is my current feed right now i actually only have one picture that's like waiting to go up kind of thing however i did take those other pictures yesterday that we edited today i normally choose the one that i would want to be the first picture so i think I think it would be this one maybe and i import that and i just play around with it i see what i like and what i don't like honestly these two pictures look kind of the same i think it's the stone in this picture contrasting with the blinds in this picture it kind of looks similar but i also like i said i don't think about it too hard because i like both of the pictures so like i'm gonna post them <laughs> I just like to see if something looks like really bad, but that doesn't look terrible. And I think that once I take more pictures in the future and add those in, then my feed will look better. So all of these have been posted except the top two. And then the last thing that I want to show you guys is this fun little hack that I actually just learned where you can go into Instagram and you know how you can like repost your own story or your own picture. So here's this picture that I just posted. Yes, I like my own pictures because hello, I deserve it. <laughs> When you go to repost your own picture, you can slide it to the right and type in whatever hashtags you want and then cover it with the picture. You know, you know what I'm saying? However, if you don't know anything about hashtags or like what the best hashtags are, because I don't, I have never cared enough to really like look into it. There is a website that I don't even know where I saw this, but it's called displaypurposes.com and you can literally just type in like a few hashtags. So like I can type in like Insta, it'll come up with like multiple hashtags. I could type in curly, YouTube. I already did curly, but maybe I'll do like natural. And so I just typed in like four things and all of these hashtags are here and 
and then I can go ahead and copy it. The dots are there if you like to put hashtags in your comments, like on when you actually post something. But I will just take the dots away, copy it, and go back to my story, put it behind my post that I'm reposting, and there you go. Honestly, I have yet to really notice a difference but maybe I'm just not really paying attention enough. It's just a little hack that I learned about and thought I would share. I think that that is it for my Instagram editing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram. My username is at Zoe A. Raymond. So find me, come say hey. My voice is getting very raspy and tired and the lighting is getting a bit weird. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Is that a hair on my face? <laughs> Go f Okay, I don't know. I um what? Yeah. That's a little too much saturation. But I don't know how to fix it because I don't know how to work this.